look at the actually look at the soil report and look at the pH value. Uh, want to explain a little bit uh, how that that test is done in house. And so, what we do is we mix your soil with an ionized distilled water, and we measure it with a pH meter. As simple as that. So, what we're measuring is active acidity. And so, on that report, next to the pH value is what we call buffer index. And there's a lot of confusion with buffer index. Uh, so I mentioned that pH is a measure of active acidity. So buffer index is a measure of reserve acidity. To explain that a little further, in the laboratory, we're going to mix that solution with a chemical solution that is highly alkaline. It's a known solution. And when we, when we mix those together, we measure buffering capacity of that. We measure the change in the soil's ability to resist that change. And we calculate that buffer index and come up with a lime recommendation. So buffer index, it's an indication of how much, how much ag lime we need to apply to move the soil pH. So in this table, um, we have a soil pH of 5.6 across the sand silt or clay. And the buffer index, we've, we've gathered that information from the lab, from your soil sample, and uh, we have a 6.8 buffer index, we have a 6.6, .6, and then a 6.2. And how that relates to the soil pH is, it's an indication of how much ag lime we need to put on. Because a buffer index of 6.2 is more resistant to change than a buffer index of 6.8. Now it's, a, it's contrary to what we think, but it's an indication, it's laboratory tested, and it's an index that allows us to know how much ag lime to put on. Because if we're in a sand soil, and we didn't know the buffer index, and we put that four ton on, we would change your pH so fast that you could actually go into an alkaline environment and see where I grew up, that 24 CEC, the heavy clay, we have those highly eroded hills and, and uh, they're more resistant to change. So we're gonna have to put on some of those two to three to four ton lime wrecks in order to bring those 5.6s up to a 6.5. And that's what we're trying to do, is we're trying to bring our soil pH up to that near neutral zone of 6.5. Thank you for joining us today. If there is a need to get in touch with Joe or I, uh, we'll put up our contact information. And please uh, take the time to visit our website. And if you haven't registered to use the, the, the portal, uh, there's a lot of valuable tools on that.